Okay, so this is part two, two of my uh, physics problem. The question was, uh, if I have a mass, I have two, I'm sorry, no masses, I have two point charges, one's at the origin, one's at x equals 0.3, and I want to know where the electric field is zero. So I had uh, charge one was one nanocoulomb at the origin, charge two was five nanocoulombs at x equals 0.3. And so where where is the zero? And I, did, I worked the problem, actually it's right here. Remember that? Okay. So now I, I want to really kind of explore the solution by calculating it in Python. Um, so let's just, and this we're not using any vectors or anything like that because we're, we're stuck in one dimension for right now. We can make it more complicated later if we want to. So I've already started this program, but I entered in the Q1, X1, Q2, X2, and I didn't put any units on there because... Uh, Python doesn't know how to handle that. It's just numbers, right? Uh, I have my constant in there, k, which it, it didn't really matter in the solution, but I put it in there anyway. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's say, remember we want to calculate the electric field due to 1 plus electric field due to 2. Okay, and so I'm going to pick, we, we solved that uh, in the problem I found x was 0, 0.0, whoa, let me, I'm looking right here. 927. That's what I got. So what I want to do is check and see if that answer actually works. And you could do it manually. You don't need Python for this, but it's more fun in Python. Okay, so I'm going to say E1 is K times Q1. Actually, let me do this. R1 equals X1. So if you think about it, suppose that I have that point charge at the origin one, I want to, I need to know the distance to where I'm trying to find it, and, and since the point charge is at zero, it's it's just x. But I want to do it more formally, right? So I want to say uh, it's it's really going to be x minus x one, right? Because that tells me the distance, and x one zero, so it's x. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for r two. But see now, r two is the distance from r two point two to x, so it's actually going to be, um, it's going to be x, well, it's going to, be, I want the absolute value, so let's say it's going to be x2 minus x, right, because x2 is 0.3, and wherever that x value is, I want that leftover distance. Okay, so now I have the two distances, maybe a picture would help, but I can now calculate E1, it's going to be k times q1 divided by r1 squared. Um, okay, so a couple notes here. One, uh, this, this is not the best equation. We're only dealing with the magnitude electric field here. It's really a vector. Okay, so there's that. Two, if you want to square something, it's star star in Python. Remember that. And I'm going to go ahead and print this out. E1 equals E1. I'm, I'm even going to put the units because I care. So let's run it and see what happens because we, we should get something. Okay, 1047 newtons per coulomb. Okay, now let's do E2. It's going to be equal to, technically it's negative, right, because it's in the negative direction. Negative K times Q1 divided by R2 squared. And let's print that. E2 equals E2 newtons per coulomb and run it. Oh, something didn't write, work right. Hmm. Oh, ha! <gasps> okay, I see what the problem is. How to make that, okay. I put, I put Q2 right there. I was really getting scared. Okay, run it again. Okay, boom. So you obviously if E1 <clears throat> plus E2 is gonna be really, really close to zero. I mean, there's some rounding error in here, but I rounded when I put things on the board. So that seems like the solution does indeed work. So that's good. Now what I want to do is go from that space in between the two point charges, actually not all the way up to one. I'm going to, because as you get closer and closer to a point charge, the electric field goes to infinity. So I'm going to say, instead of going from zero to 0.3, I'm going to go from, let's say, uh, 0 0.05 to 2.95. Is that too close? That might be too close. Let's say, let's just say from, let's just do 0.1 to 0.2. Let's do that. Now let's, well, we'll change it. Okay, 
So let's, I don't need to print this stuff out. I don't need to print this stuff out. And let's just say uh, x10 where it starts is 0 0.05 and x20, x20, x2 final let's say, where it ends is 0.295. Let's just see what happens. Now I'm going to in each stage calculate. I'm going to set x equals to 0 0.05. I'm going to calculate the total electric field and then I'm going to make a graph. Yes, there's a lot going on here, but it's going to be awesome. Okay. So uh, actually I need to make a graph. So I have my starting x, my final x, and my, uh, actually this, let's just put this at x equals x10. That's where it starts. And then dx is my step size. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving, uh, I'm going to calculate the electric field, and I'm going to move, and I'm going to calculate the electric field, and so forth, until I get to my final x. So let's say this is 0 0.01. It's a computer. It can do it a whole bunch of times. It's not going to complain. Uh, OK. Yeah, I need to make my graph, too. So let's make a graph. Let's do this a simple. Let's do this a good way. So I'm going to say T graph is the name of the graph. It's an object of type graph. The, it has an X title of um, position in meters. It has a Y title, E net, let's just call it, in Newtons per Coulomb. And that's good. And then we'll say F1 is my graph, I mean a G curve. It's a, that's a type. Uh, and I can give it a color. I, I never like to leave it as black because it doesn't look as good. It'll be blue. Okay. While x is less than x2 final. So I'm going to keep doing the following loop until I get to that spot. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is calculate E1, which is right here. And then I need to calculate E2. And then I need to calculate E net equals E1 plus E2. Now I need to plot it. So I'm going to say F1.plot the x value is going to be x, the y value is going to be e net. And now I need to step to the next x position. So x equals x plus dx. So that takes your value of x and it adds just a little bit to it and it gives you the new one. And so if you didn't do that, this would just keep going forever. I don't know if this is going to run because I always make a mistake, but let's just do it. I'm going to run it right now. And something happened. Cannot read property of undefined. Huh. Where did I make my mistake? G curve. X equals X zero. Well, let's just do something like this. Print E net. And run it again. So I didn't do that, right? So that tells me it's not getting that far. So let's, let's get it over here and put print x. And now run it. I didn't get that far. x2. Aha! I know where the problem is. Right here. See? I'm using x, but I'm defining x down here. So let's just move these things down here. And I'm getting written to the print statement because I think I fixed my problem. And I'm going to run it. It worked. It didn't look right. The electric field never changed. Aha! See, I'm making these mistakes on purpose. <clears throat> so down here, I'm using R1 and R2, but I never changed those. So let's just put. Every time I change my x values, I have to rechange, recalculate r1 and r2. Okay, now let's run it. Maybe it will work. Each time, yeah, okay, that's better. Uh, so, let's cut, this is too close up here. Let's go to just to point 0.2. 
that's blowing up. I think it's working. Okay, there we go. It works. So you can see, let's just see this line right here is where the electric field is equal to zero. Where the graph crosses should be what I calculated before, and I'm going to mouse over there. I get pretty close, right? Let's see, what was it? Point zero, yeah, point zero two, point zero nine two nine. I had point zero nine two seven. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so here we're using the power of Python, not just to calculate things multiple times, but to even make a graph of the whole situation, which helps us really understand what's going on. If I get too close to the to the Q1, then the electric field is pointing in the positive x direction. If I'm too close to the negative the Q2, it's pointing in the negative x direction. So somewhere in between, it's equal to zero. Um, I could exchange this. I can move any region that I wanted, and I could calculate a plot of the electric field. It won't go to zero, but it will still be there. I can't do x equals zero. I can't do x equals 0.3 because I, I would be dividing by zero. So, okay, there you go. Python with the new window. You like that? Okay, that's it.